You're telling me that people say they refer to me as the rat lady of, what, Westwood? Westwood Park. On so many levels, to me, that's, that's just wrong. They're free to say whatever they want, I guess. I don't think any animal is really a bad animal. So if they choose to have that opinion, that's their right. I first saw rats when I was here working out in the yard, crawling under her fence and burrowing down in a burrow they had made by our foundation. June 2014, rats showed up in our yard. From that point, I made it a priority to keep records on her because I knew it was just going to get worse. And so I've been taking photos. I just want to see this stop. They took receivership over 4937, one of her houses. Matt, the receiver, was coming in and cleaning up her property, and she wasn't allowed on the property. She, she owned the house, but she lost control of the house. As you can see, there's a lot of hoarding going on. So the photo down below is a photo, and I'm trying to show that nothing has changed. Holes, well, you can see a hole there. There was one somewhere under this bush. When I first, you know, saw the, a couple of rats scurrying back and forth, I went in, got Terry, and I said, we've got a problem. The situation now is we still have a lot of rodent problems. We are uh, vigilantly watching all the time for new holes for rats that come out in the yard. It's, it's frustrating because we, we really don't want our dog out in the, in the backyard. We work in that backyard garden area a lot. Uh, it terrifies my wife to think that there are rats out there. I wanted to have a naturalized native landscaping because of the benefit it would provide for the planet and my neighborhood and what I believed in. I cannot begin to explain my surprise to receive so much resistance to doing something that I thought was so good. It's not me bringing rats. What they want has nothing to do with rats. What they want is for me to be out of the neighborhood because they want my house, they want my property, and rats, because of the emotional value of it, gets the attention they think they need to escalate the situation to accomplish what they want. When you live in an urban environment, you have codes, you have restrictions, you have covenants that allow for a, a reasonable way of living. Um, if you really feel that uh, you want to be completely natural, you should really live in the country. <laughs>